Hey everyone and welcome back. Today we'll be talking about histology. So we'll start to talk about the science that deals with the structure of the tissues that build up the human body. So we know that a group of cells of similar structure and function they make up a tissue and the tissue, a group of tissues of maybe different origins, maybe the same origin they build up organs and then the organs they make up the systems like for example the stomach, the esophagus, the intestines they build up the digestive system so on and so forth and then all the systems they make up a functional living organism so the histology is the science that deals with the structure of the tissues that build up the organs so first of all we're going to deal with the tissues we're going to study the tissues and know what they're made of and then we will talk about the organs so in this video series we're going to talk about the tissues now we can classify the tissues in the human body under four main classifications so the first one is called the epithelial tissues the epithelial tissues and these are the kind of tissues that kind of cover the organs or the cavities in the human body for example the lining of the inside of the stomach the lining of the esophagus the lining of the blood vessels the capillaries everything included in that category goes under the epithelial tissues also the glands inside the human body they contain epithelial tissues so the epithelial tissues they have three subcategories the first one is called covering epithelium covering epithelium and then we have glandular epithelium and finally we have sensory epithelium like that epithelium um, for example in the inner ear or in the nasal mucosa or in or on the skin so all of those are kind of uh, different types of epithelial tissues so this is the first type of tissues that we're going to talk about the second type of tissue is called connective tissues and these are the ones that connect between different organs inside the human body in order to make this clear we're going to talk about the types or the subtypes of the connective tissues we have the first step which is called connective tissue so CT is short for connective tissue so connective tissue proper and this is kind of like a structure that uh, doesn't make up something uh, specific but it kind of connects between two layers inside the human body for example you have your skin and then you have a layer and then you have muscles beneath that skin there's a layer of tissue that connects between the skin and the muscles not a gap in there there's something and that tissue is connective tissue proper now connective tissue proper has two types loose connective tissue so it's kind of loose connective tissue means that it doesn't have a lot of mass in there and then we have dense connective tissue and we're going to talk about this later when we talk about the connective tissue subtypes so this is the first type of connective tissue that we have the second type is cartilage cartilage the cartilage covering the bones in the joints so or present in other places in the human body the cartilage is kind of a connective tissue the third type are the bones themselves 
The bones are considered a type of a connective tissue. And the fourth subtype is blood. So even though blood is a fluid per se, we consider it as a connective tissue. So the tissue does not have to be something solid. It can be a fluid as well, such as the blood. And why is that? Because the main components of the blood, they fall into the same categories or the same um, components that make up a connective tissue. So blood is the last type of connective tissue. So here we have four subcategories. The third type of tissues that we have inside the human body is muscular tissue. And this is the tissue that makes up muscles. And finally we have the nervous tissue and this is the tissue that makes up the nerves. So this is the main classification, this is a summary of the types of tissues that we have inside the human body. Now we're gonna start talking about these one by one. So in the next video we will start talking about the epithelial tissues and so until then I thank you for watching and see you.